द समुना के सी पॉडकास्ट अ पॉडकास्ट ऑन पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग एग्जीक्यूटिव प्रोड्यूसर समुना के सी पहला नशा पहला हुमा और आई वॉन्ट सिंग मोर देन दस and i just finished watching this movie kuch bhi ke alfaz on netflix and yes you guessed it right this is the valentine's day special episode i noticed uh, we have not talked about love on this podcast for a long time most probably on last valentine's day was the time when we actually talked about love and relationship especially on this podcast we talk about business entrepreneurship building a brand a personal brand and on my website samunagasi.com we talk about philosophy personal branding entrepreneurship and relationships because i believe these are the four aspect of building a personal brand so today we talk about love when i wanted to talk about love and before i sat down on this chair opened my computer uh, put on my headphone i actually had no idea what should i talk about love i mean i have my notes i have my research but then why i wanted to talk about love what what's there to talk about love right uh, the movies we grew up with the books uh, the relationships we had and the other relationship that we uh, I watched I thought I learned a lot about love I wish but then there were a lot of confusion like if this is love then why this is not in such way if this is romance and where there is romance in a relationship when there is not and oh relationships but then uh, this light bulb went off there's a difference between love romance and relationships these three are actually three different things they are not the same thing you could love someone and you may not be in a relationship with them you might be having romance but then there won't may not be love and then you <laughs> could be in a relationship and there possibly there wouldn't be love either love or romance how these three things are interrelated and different at the same time let's talk more about it Are you waiting for a light bulb moment or an apple to fall into your head so that you can get all the answers? Hanuman, a character in Hindu mythology was cursed and forgot who he was until someone reminded him of his own powers. We are the Hanumans of 21st century. Seldom anyone reminds us of our powers and we rarely believe in them. This podcast is a weekly reminder that you better believe that you are capable. You are enough. you belong and you are a personal brand i am your host samuna kesi and please subscribe to the samuna kesi podcast if you want to discover and develop one variable that is under your control and that can make or break your career business and life as a whole a personal brand before i start today's episode Let me tell you let me share with you a magical word <laughs> the word is process and i am falling in love with the process of recording this podcast gathering the equipments putting on the headphones a screen in front of me and even if i don't have any idea why i am doing all this once i get myself into the process everything start making sense and as i said in the beginning i was questioning myself i usually do that whenever i'm doing something important i ask myself why do you need to do that a lot of other people have to turn it what's the value in it little voice i do it for the process and when i follow the process i get something valuable out of me okay so just listen to me so that's how i shut down the little voice in my head and that wants me to keep quiet and then uh something valuable uh, comes out of it 
And today's value that I have got, my this um, light bulb moment is uh, the difference between love, romance and relationships. First, let's talk about love. When people talk about love, uh, they say like, yeah, I love everyone. I love my family. I love my uh, friends. I love my siblings. Definitely, we love everyone. What is love? I somehow, uh, last year too, I shared this definition of love and I still uh, stick to it. Uh, love is, uh, it's like cooking. You cook something. And when you cook something, the aroma of the spices that you put on that food uh, sticks to you. And then once you cook it, you eat it first. That's how love works. You eat it first and then you share it with the world. That's what love is for me. In that sense, yes, you can love everyone. Your friends, your family, your romantic partner. But then... It's not the same. The kind of a love is not the uh, same. You do, you, it's, it's a different kind of a feeling when you love your partner uh, in contrast to when you love your friend or sibling. So what's that element that uh, differentiates these loves, especially the love between two lovers and family members and friends? This is when the second piece of this puzzle Romance. Romance is, um, <laughs> I don't know what's romance. It, it's more of a feeling uh, than a definition, I would say. But then romance is like catering to your lover, be it gifts, to your time, your attention, uh, being available emotionally, mentally, physically, uh, when you are catering to your lover, when you are providing those needs to your lover uh, without him or her asking for it, anticipating uh, their desires and fulfilling it to the fullest, even exaggerating it. The best example are the Bollywood movies that we grew up with. The song that I sang in the beginning Pahela um, Nasha, Pahela Kumar. And this says about the first love, the first romance. But even if the love is not first, the, the romance, the feeling is always there. And that's what we learn. That's what we saw in the movies, the romance, the intimacy. And naturally, we uh, look for it in our relationships. Sometimes they are realistic, sometimes not. And even the idea of realistic or not maybe depends on your life experiences. You uh, see uh, the uh, hero of the movie proposes a girl from a helicopter or from an airplane and you wish uh, your man or your woman in, the, in, in your life would do the same if they are capable of doing that, or if they are doing it, then it's natural for you. If they are not doing it, it's not, it's a fantasy for you, right? And the movies have um, given us so much uh, imagination, so much possibilities to romance, and then we uh, try to seek it in our lives. And most of the time, the only thing that it happens is disappointment, because um, we, we are people, we have our jobs, we have our families. It's not that like in the movies. In the movies, the hero is usually either the roadside Romeo who has nothing to do in life except for impressing the girl and the question and he would do anything to impress her and then eventually she gets impressed and there's some romance happening there. Or the hero is so rich and famous that he can do anything to impress the other girl and then she gets impressed and then they get married and everything ends happily ever after. And everyone lives happily ever after. I mean, it's not true. That's why I couldn't even <laughs> remember that line. So what I'm trying to say is the romance that they show on movies might not be possible in real life uh, with our partners. But then anticipating someone's need 
uh, going a little bit extra uh, to cater that need, to understand, uh, to be able to um, listen to each other, ask. These things, you don't need any special uh, money, power, fame, or a helicopter to be able to ask your partner uh, what they want or communicate what you need. So that's romance. The romance is the part that makes a romantic relationship with a partner special and different from any other relationship and, and the love. That's how the man-woman relationship is special and different from any other relationship. And when I say man and woman relationship, anybody can identify as a man and anyone can identify as a woman. Uh, that's not uh, limited to the image of man and woman that society portrays. So that's romance. Then comes relationship. It's a whole different chapter in a person's life. Again, relationships are like is with friends and families and your co-workers. It's all relationships. But today, particularly in this episode, because it's the Valentine's Day special episode, we are talking about romantic relationships. And they are a whole different journey. You can love somebody, you can be absolutely romantic, but then uh, maintaining a relationship, being in a relationship and sus having a sustainable relationship is a whole different uh, story. So what it takes to have a sustainable relationship I wish I had a simple answer, a quick answer, some tips on the episode uh, where we talked about decluttering and that's where we talked about decluttering relationships as well. You can listen to it. I will link it in the show note. Show note is available on samunakasi.com. Also, if you are listening to it on Apple Podcasts, then the show notes are available down in the description. That's what I said. I am an expert in relationship. But when I said that, I no way meant I am an expert in a sustainable relationship. Rather, I had a lot of failed relationship. But I am an expert on leaving the bad relationships. So I have no uh, sauce, secret sauce uh, for a sustainable relationship, how to have it. But then uh, I think... A good relationship is a mix, a right amount of mix of a love and romance. Just the right amount of romance into the relationship, into the love uh, that will uh, keep that fire going. And at the same time, the warmth of love will still be there. I just remembered, uh, I don't remember where I read it or heard about it. Somebody said, like, romance is the fire when you are on the fireplace. Then it's the fire when the log is burning. And the love is the warmth that stays even after the fire is gone. So if we can have a right amount of balance between love and romance, I think that's the definition of sort of kind of a sustainable relationship. Because perfect relationship is... I guess, a myth. There isn't, no relationship is perfect. So there you have it. That's our show for today. It's kind of short. And before I go, I was going to record this uh, episode on finding yourself before finding anyone else. Before looking on this Valentine's Day, before you go ahead and start dating uh, the first person you see, I think the most important thing is to find ourselves before we connect with anyone else out there into the world. When I said I had a lot of failed relationships, I learned a lot from them and I am who I am because of my failures, be it the failures on my business or in a relationship. I am who I am because of that. But then one thing I, if I could do it again, I would do is I would focus on myself 
more than those relationships. I build myself, my business, my career, my personal brand, and then uh, take that whole person to some another whole person and then build that relationship. So uh, if you are single, I hope you find yourself this Valentine's Day. And if you are a couple, you have a partner, then you may have the most uh, beautiful Valentine's Day ever. I, I would like to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for your time and attention today. And um, I got a chance to share with you some of my ideas about Valentine's Day, love, romance, and relationships. So thank you so much for your time. If you have any thoughts, comment. If you are not agree about some of my thoughts, you can share it on samonagasi.com. Also in the comments of uh, Apple Podcasts. If you are listening to this on Apple Podcasts, please, please, please subscribe to this podcast and leave your rates and reviews. That's how we will know how we are doing. Otherwise, recording the podcast, um, being a podcaster, this journey is quite lonely, though I would not like to call it lonely. It's a nice solitude. But then sometimes it's good to have some friends, right? So please, my friend, write your comments and reviews and let me know what you think. Uh, also visit my website, samunakasi.com, where you can book a consultation call if you want to start a business, a brand, and you can book this consultation for free. Also, you can download a free guide to grow on Instagram your brand and business. Also, you can check out our services on marketing consultancy, web design, digital marketing, and cybersecurity on getbrandedglobal.com. I will see you in the next episode. Namaste. Namaste.